an independent exploration team, acting on their own free will, set out to rediscover the new urban landscape of Los Angeles on foot. Starring Caesar D as Ramon, Sonia Leslie as Jane, and Elvis Legate as Elvis. In Metro Safari. Jane, there really is a subway. It's like, like that movie, Journey to Center of the Earth. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, Alvis, if you're gonna wear the helmet, Cam, then your job is to document me, the team. Whoa, Got whoa, whoa, it? Wait, me, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's no me in my team. There's no we in team either, and it's not your team. There is what? a T in team. <laughs> Now check this out. You can take the rail all the way from Long Beach to Redondo Beach and then to downtown L.A. Oh, it's even close to LAX. Hey, where's Elvis? I don't know, but we gotta catch the train. Come on. Come on, come on, we come gotta on. Catch the train. Where's Elvis? Wow, man, this is pocket change. Come on, Elvis! Elvis! What's a few more minutes in geological time anyway? Man. Man. The Earth is a very ancient place. It's been in existence about four and a half billion years. If we reduce that time to a 24-hour day and look at major geologic events like dinosaurs, Dinosaurs have been around for a long time ago, but in terms of that 24 hours, they only show up about 10.45 tonight, and they'll disappear about 11.15 tonight. Uh, much of California is even younger than that. The Metrorail project where we've been digging, actually, the rocks we are finding fossils in go back about four and a half minutes of that 24-hour day. Man, on the other hand, has only been on Earth about 17 seconds of that 24-hour day. Well, the fossils tell us something about the history of life in the Los Angeles area uh, beginning about seven or eight million years ago and extending up to just a few thousand years ago. And obviously, Los Angeles was much different than we were at the bottom of an ocean, and to find the beach, you'd have to go inland almost as far as Fontana or San Bernardino. Among the more interesting fossils that were discovered during construction of the Metro Red Line were a number of Ice Age mammal fossils that were found in the Hollywood Boulevard Tunnel at depths between about 50 and 80 feet. Mastodon tooth, camel tooth, horse toe, bison bone. The uh, fossil Ice Age mammal specimens from the Hollywood Tunnel were found by one of the miners working on the project, Michael Gunther. He's one of the tunneling machine operators. Well, when I found most of these, I was running the mining machine, and it's a 20-foot diameter steel tube, almost like a tin can, with 300 foot long. And uh, right up front, about eight foot back from the dirt, as it comes in the face of the mining machine. And you get used to seeing what the dirt looks like and get bored, so you really start looking at it. And certain things look different when it falls through the face, so anything looks a little out in ordinary, I get down and pick it up. But when you find them, you know, I didn't, I didn't know the elephant had that big of teeth, you know. Holy moly, Ma! Look what I found! <laughs> yeah, most of the times when I find something, you know, you take your lunch and be in lunch bags, and uh, the bones, they dry out real fast, they're moist. So I throw out my sandwich to put a bone in my sandwich bag so they wouldn't get dried out so I could turn it in at the end of the shift. They, they've told me that, that uh, some of these finds are one in a million finds, and they work for years to try to find something like this. You know, set up a place like La Brea where they know they're there, and all they have the tar pits, 
and all they have to do is go dig them up, see what they find. It's very rare to actually find something when you're not expecting it. Okay, the fish are not splicing, the fish are mising, they're much older. So, so the Pleistocene animals are all just the big mammal stuff we're finding, and the little rodents and so forth. So, just talk about the, the Ice Age thing then? Okay. During the Ice Ages in Southern California, conditions were not icy in spite of the name. It was much wetter here than it is today, and the vegetation and the animals do indicate that there's a lot more moisture, a lot more rain falling throughout the year, not the heavy seasons we have now today. Uh, otherwise, we would not have supported large herds of horses and bison like we did. This is a piece of fossilized wood. This is a piece of fossilized wood. This is a piece of fossilized wood that was collected from the Metro Red Line Tunnel in North Hollywood at a depth of 60 to 70 feet below Lancashire Boulevard. This is a piece of fossilized wood, 45,000 years old. Uh, at the time, the uh, the wood was part of a living tree. There were a host of Ice Age mammals walking around the San Fernando Valley and Hollywood. And most of these were large animals that are now extinct, including horses, camels, bison, uh, giant ground sloths, um, and a, a vast array of other animals. The Metro Red Line is probably one of the biggest construction projects where paleontologic studies have been conducted. And because of the scope of the project, it's uh, yielded a wealth of new material that would not have been found without the project. Hey, Albus, how did you get here? Same way you guys. Subway. It's fast, it's friendly, and it's almost free. Just like this bus. Now listen, I figured out that we could get to real meeting if we take this bus to the CC. CCS. Central Control Facility. Security Central, baby. That place is a mother ship to all helmet camp. So you're the driver, huh? What's your favorite color? Yellow. <laughs> did I ever tell you how interesting your eyes look? No. Did I ever tell you you look like Antonio Banderas? Really? Nope. Not? Not at all. Not one bit, huh? Not a bit. Not even my eyes? Not even close. Not the smile? Not one tooth. Hmm. Cool. Sailors of the modern world. Oh, I don't know about that one. Favorite color is blue. In my past life, what was I? Gosh. I don't know. This may be my past life right now I'm living. Well, the number one safety rule is you have to watch out for the safety of all your customers because you can have as little as one person on the bus as much as 60 or more on a bus and all of those people are depending on you to get them to their destination safely. Uh, yes there is romance, there is romance uh, at work, there is romance while you're working, uh, being an operator, uh, male or female, um, I know of a lot of people that have met their spouses or significant others on the bus. Tourists are a lot of fun because most of the time they get on the bus and they have no idea where they're going, so they depend on you to give them information. Where the operators go to the bathroom, same place you and I go to the bathroom. You can get around LA, uh, you can you can get just about anywhere on a bus. We service a very large area and uh, our lines uh, connect with other agencies, so if uh, we only reach a certain point, most likely there's another agency that can continue on where we drop you off. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines pumping and thumping in time. The green light flashes, the flags go up. Churning and burning, they yearn for the cup. They deftly maneuver and muscle for rank. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. Reckless and wild, they pour through the turns. Their prowess is potent and secretly stern. As they speed through the finish, the flags go down. The fans get up and they get out of town. Today's weather is mid-90s. It's nice and sunny, a typical California day. Eleven obstacles. They gave us seven minutes to complete the whole course. Whoever does it better today, whoever gets the best day, will be a winner. Right turns, left turns, you know, parallel park, speed, you know, distance, width, you know, backing, different things. 